Hi and uh, welcome to another tutorial. This time we're going to look at how to connect old consoles to uh, newer TVs. Now, personally, I don't recommend doing this. If you have an old TV, uh, you should always connect your old consoles to that. Um, the picture quality is going to be a lot better. But, you know, in this time and age, most of us do have a flat screen TV. Um, and that's what, you, you know, you're going to hook your uh, consoles up to. Now, the reason, um, there's actually two reasons I don't recommend hooking uh, old systems up to uh, uh, newer TVs. And um, one of the reasons is the picture quality. Now, if we go over here you can see every single pixel perfect. Uh, there's no discrepancy, Mario looks great, the titles look great, and then uh, we come over here and you'll see that Mario looks kind of distorted. Um, there's a little like white spot at the tip of his hat. Um, the titles look really bad. And the reason for that is newer TVs will try to basically improve the image. So as over here where you can see that there's actually like little squares making up the pixel and the image. Over here it's trying to basically round those off. Um, because it's trying to create the best image possible which in this case makes it worse. It's ironic, but you know, the TV is not to blame. But in anyways, um, in order to do this, you're going to need two things. Um, obviously you're gonna need the consoles, but beyond that, I've already gone over how to hook everything up using different switch boxes. However, uh, in order to basically split the image the way that I have, if you want to do it on like two TVs at the same time, you are going to need uh, these little splitters right here. Um, I have one uh, signal going in and I got two signals going out. The first signal goes to this TV and the second signal goes to Let's see, this one right here. Now, this is another mini, and I've talked about these in previous tutorials. I love these. Um, so the um, image, the AV signal, comes in here um, as an RCA, but it gets upscaled to a 1080p uh, HDMI. So this would then connect to this TV. Um, and as I mentioned, there's two reasons why I do not recommend hooking older consoles up to newer TVs. So I thought I should uh, um, showcase that using one of the classic games, um, which is Duck Hunt. So bear with me here. No. There we go. So, we'll just play some Duck Hunt. And you've probably seen several videos um, telling you that this is hard to do through the camera here. But, uh, yeah, shut up. No one likes you. But as you can see, it works perfectly on the old TV. The light gun has no problem acquiring the target and uh, registering the hit. If we go over here, however, it doesn't matter what I do, um, I will not be able to hit this. And a lot of people say that these things don't work on the newer TVs. It has to be a CRT. Um, there's actually, 
actually I'll go into that in a different video on how and why these do not work on one of the newer consoles. But basically, um, the two reasons why I don't recommend hooking up to a, a newer TV. Um, first of all, the image gets worse. And secondly, um, you know, peripherals like the light gun doesn't work. That being said, if you just want to show off um, everything... I'll turn this guy off. If you just want to show off what you got and, you know, the fact that you can, then I completely understand because, you know, sometimes it's fun um, to set things up. So, for instance, you could be playing Game Boy on a newer TV and, uh, you know, that's fun.